Hey everyone, welcome back. I have the old John boat back inside the shop again. I'm going to be doing a uh, fish finder install. And it's actually the same fish finder that's been on this kayak that I used last year. And uh, I'm going to actually put it on this. And I don't want to put it on permanently. I'm going to put it on in a way that I can take it off if I have to. What I've been using is this, uh, call it the fishing buddy fish finder. Just goes in the clamp, which works pretty good, uh, but you have to be going slow to use it, like troll, trolling motor slow. But uh, I want to have something that I can see the depth and uh, use the fish finder at any speed. So earlier this year, uh, four or five months ago, I did a video on this boat on how I painted it and uh, put some new registration stickers on, took the old ones off, kind of gave it a little refresher. And uh, that by far is my most watched video that I have on my channel. So if you are a fan of that video, thanks for the support. I'm making one of my top videos. I <laughs> I only wish my uh, other videos got so many views, but uh, maybe you can uh, check some of those out too. I like, I like to think that I put out a decent fishing video once in a while, so so check those out too. So this old thing right here, this is an old uh, cutting board. It's made out of like hard plastic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a square out of it um, to mount the transducer to. I've read about other people doing this. Apparently what you do is you, you uh, stick it onto the bottom of your boat using the uh, 3M uh, marine adhesive. I've never done it, done it before, so this will be kind of a new thing for me. Like I said, I don't want to make this like permanent because I might end up wanting to take it off again. Hopefully it comes out all right. We'll see if it, see if it works.
so here it is. It's the fish finder all installed. And what I did is I just put a uh, made just like a wooden uh, mounting plate here, and uh, I screw right through the sides of the seat. I just have one screw on each side. I didn't want to screw uh, holes into the seat itself because most likely I'm probably going to change something up at some point. So, and I uh, put a rod holder here while I was at it. And uh, the ammo box is the battery box for the fish finder battery. The hole on each side for the wires. So if I'm transporting it, I can take the fish finder off, put it right inside the box, and pull the wire inside the box too. And there's the uh, transducer all installed. That piece of cutting board right there. Seems like it's holding on, so uh, we'll see. Then uh, that way, if, if it's not working in that location for some reason, I can kind of move it around if I have to, not drill more holes into the boat. And the wire just goes up underneath that handle. I kind of have it tucked away once it gets in the boat. But I wanted to put something on here that uh, I could take off in the future if I wanted to without a lot of trouble. So now I'm going to take it out in the water and see how it works. It's a good one right there. Well, they're sitting right on the bottom. 